life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the red carpet for Haley Roberts' Big Birthday Bash. Take a look. Today is your night. So not only is it your birthday celebration, but it's the official launch of Red Songbird. So tell me how that feels. I am over the moon. I am just absolutely ecstatic about this whole night. I mean, I'm just, like I was telling others, my biggest job is not to cry my lashes off tonight. I know this organization started because of an event that happened in your life. So tell me about this event and why it made you want to start this organization. I had grown up in trauma starting at age three. A whole lot of bad things happened. I eventually became an alcoholic drug addict. Um, I got sober. I had lost my singing voice. Got that back at two years still had nightmares for my first six years sober and one of my dearest friends said to me you need to go get help you have to go get help and she found a foundation that paid for half of my treatment and as i started healing with the counseling after the treatment and stepping into being acting in ways that were more beneficial to me and not hurting me I became freer and freer and I knew that one day I wanted to help others. I knew that I wanted to give other people the opportunity to get help for the wounds because it blocks us. It blocks us from human relations. It blocks us from loving ourselves. And when we get free, it frees us up to, to enjoy life and to love others and help others. How does it feel to be here for Hillary's Big Night tonight? It's incredible. I mean, anything that we can do to support anything with substance abuse and mental health uh, or anything that shows recovery, we're always you know, down to support that cause. It's amazing. I'm so proud of her, the launch of her foundation and her birthday. I mean, it's like a two-in-one. It's incredible. It's so amazing. We feel very privileged to be here and sharing our message and sharing hers. It's it's amazing. You guys have a little show coming out. Yes, little one. <laughs> little one. The little one's coming back. How excited are you to join the cast? I'm really excited. I had an amazing experience. It was really nice getting to meet and hang out with a lot of the girls. Um, it's hard, you know, putting yourself out there and being so vulnerable. I really hope that the audience appreciates it because we're sharing our real life and we're being extremely vulnerable on what substance abuse and mental health really looks like in our marriage. And we have a daughter now, so you know, there's a lot more at risk when you're putting yourself out there, but Times we're have really definitely changed for yes. me. You're not you're gonna see a different yes. side for sure. How does it feel to lend your comedic talent tonight for Hillary's Big Night? I will let you know when it happens. <laughs> I'm still I'm actually nervous for this one. It's like, oh yeah, they got ice sculptures. You didn't see that? It's fancy it's here. Fancy. Yeah. Very, very fancy. Why I'm not are you so nervous. You jumped I'm so wearing nice. pants. I don't I don't I look yeah, I, I feel like a blackjack dealer at Morongo. <laughs> <laughs> you had a really big night. At the Dodger Stadium on Wednesday. Tell me how this all came about. Woo! Okay, I can tell you all about that. This one made me nervous, but the Dodger one, actually throwing out a, a first pitch in front of, uh, they said it was 50,000 plus. A little nerve-wracking, but I made it. I made the, the ball went from here to the catcher, so I was very happy that it, you know, because if it hits the ground, you wind up being called 50 cent or something like that. So, a good, yeah, it's not a good I, look. I was nervous, and I got invited to come back, and they let me go back behind the scenes, and like I got free Dodger dogs and food and snacks. You have a movie out called Ugly Dolls, so I love the meaning behind this movie because I feel like it's a good, positive message to children that you know your flaws are beautiful. So tell me, what made you want to join this project? Well, um, it, I guess it would be politically correct and awesome to say that yes, I felt that the story connected to me, and it was very, it was heartwarming and it moved me. But the truth of the matter is, uh, Blake Shelton's in it, and I'm like, are you kidding? I get to work with Blake Shelton? <laughs> Kelly Clarkson's in it. Yeah. What? Pitbull? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I was, I was in from the get. I yeah. was in from the get. I, and uh, and it, it is a great story. I know I'm making fun, but it's an awesome story. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.